Hi, welcome to French beginner class number one, uh, topics and vocabulary, French greetings. My name is Spencer from anyonecanlearnacademy.com. Go ahead and check us out there, aclacademy.com. All right, let's go ahead and hop into today's lovely greeting lessons. We're going to go over 15 different greetings. Il y a 15 different greetings. We're going to use 15 different greetings today. Uh, I will mix a little bit of English and French to help anyone learning in both languages. This is English to French, okay? So, we'll put that here. English to French. English to French. Okay. English to French. So, it's easy to follow along. All right. Here we go. We're going to start off with our basic hello, hi, hey, hello, and good evening. So, we're going to start off with the first five here. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Number one being bonjour, bonjour, followed by salut. Coucou, allô, and bonsoir. These are some simple super simple starting lovely little and i don't have my uh my accents here but i will i'll just do it like this i don't have a keyboard but that will work bonjour that one will give you let's go type it in right now hello or good morning that's a fun one bonjour and then salut which is more of a Basic quick hi. Hi. Number three, you cuckoo, which is like hey. Cuckoo. And allo, which is just hello. You don't use this one on the phone too much, right? And last, good evening. Just kind of know your rules there for your first five in English to French greetings. Now, there isn't in a rule for you know what's more important but we will go over a few extra greetings that will help you make more sense in the language so the one I like to use the most is enchanté enchanted enchanté or with an extra e for uh, ladies so if you remember in masculine feminine for men and women all right you have enchanté Enchanté is another way of saying nice to meet you, right? Nice to meet you. Enchanté, nice to meet you. Bonsoir, salut, coucou. Ça fait longtemps, ça fait long, long temps, right? Ça fait longtemps, which means a long time, no see. Uh, dis donc. It's been a while. It's been some time, right? It's been some time. Put that as a long time no see. Right, long time no see. Very classic line here. Uh, we use that didonk, right? So it's been a long, it's been some time for real. Long time no see. Ça fait, ça fait, ça fait didonk. All right, and then the sa uh, drops the accent, the C accent, yeah. Ça va? It's another popular one. How are you, right? Ça va? How are you? How are you doing? Ça va? Ça va? And uh, usually that follows up with like a yes, we, oui, no, why, right? We, oui, we, oui, oops, yes. We, oui, no, come see, si, come sa, come see. Si. So. so so something like that All right come see comes out very popular and uh, you're gonna have tu va bien which is a less like a more it's the same way as ça va, just a more I, I don't know I I I feel like it it can sound more formal so tu va bien 
But the thing is, I know I've learned that if you say the word tu, it's not as formal as like vu, right? So it's like, tu va bien? Like, how are you doing? <laughs> how has it been? How are you doing? How's it been? Right? How are you doing? Next, you're going to have, uh, you know, like the what's up, like quoi de neuf. But I don't really hear this one too much. Not with my friends, at least. Quoi de neuf. Uh, it's not that really big uh, around my circle of folk, but I've heard it a few times. What's up? Quoi de neuf? Right? I, I don't really hear that one way too much as that one is, uh, I don't know, I wouldn't say advanced, but I would say that that one can be a bit strange at times. Oh, I want to move you. Or you. Let's move that one. Move that one. Okay. Now let's add a little bit of... Uh, goodbyes right we're gonna add a few goodbyes here i think that's gonna be very appropriate one of the first ones is au revoir au revoir now au revoir is uh the goodbye straight up goodbye au revoir goodbye now that one's gonna be tough because of our localized r there that r is going to be very difficult au revoir be careful okay then you're gonna have salut which is the same word, okay? It's the same word as the salut from earlier, okay? So be very careful in that connection. You can use them both. Salut. It's kind of like a like aloha, right? Like it comes in, it comes out. So it's the same way to say in the beginning. And at the end, you can say salut. Oh, salut. Or salut. Just like as a casual, quick, hi and goodbye. All right? Then you can have like ciao. But I thought that was more Italian. Than French, a plus tard, which means uh, later. A plus tard, All right? Which is another way of saying, uh, you know, later. I'll see you later. All right? A plus tard, catch you later. And then a demain, which is I'll see you tomorrow. A demain. Which just means tomorrow. However, because of its context, we know that we're talking about tomorrow, right? Like, I do man. Okay. Uh, a lot of greetings have handshakes. And when I was growing up, I, I, I noticed a lot of hugs and, and, and kisses on the cheeks. So it was a very popular way of greeting oneself and partners. So it was very kind. Uh, but yeah, these are your greetings here in French. French beginner class number one uh, topics. This is uh, English to French. So one more time, let's review this. Uh, we have bonjour, good morning, salut, hi, for goodbye as well. Coco, hey, allo, bonsoir, enchanté, nice to meet you. Ça fait longtemps, ça fait longtemps, dis donc. Long time no see, ça va, oui, ça va bien, or oui. Come see, come sa. Au revoir, which is goodbye. Tu vas bien, how are you doing? Quoi de neuf, which is what's up? A plus tard, see you later, and à demain. Okay? Thank you very much for another episode here, or the first episode of French Beginner Class Number One. And I'll catch you guys next time with episode number two, where we'll be going over the alphabet and letters in its combination. Okay? Take care of yourself. Check me out, spencerACL.com. Have a good one.